is complete. Took about four or five days. On the fifth day, they said, let there be roof. And it was so. Uh, looks pretty good. We did a charcoal color, as you can see. Oh my goodness, some loud birds this morning. But yeah, everything's feeling and looking a lot better than it used to. This is the add-on. It's the, the crazy living room that we're currently still working on. So that's been fully roofed as well. Uh, this, this is original. This is staying for now. We'll get rid of it eventually, probably. I see some of the construction workers left their water bottles here. That's fine. I'm sure the birds are thirsty. Or they'll choke on plastic and die. Either way, it takes care of them. They spray painted the vents black. They were all nasty and corroded before. Uh, they're still corroded. You just can't see the corrosion. Sweep it under the rug, I always say. In the living room, the roofers also installed two vents at the top just to allow some more circulation in the crawl space. It's to help with insulation so it doesn't get as hot during the summer. You don't have to run the AC as hard. There's also going to be some ventilation on the front wall, or I guess the back wall, just to allow for a bit more airflow. Our chimney's still the same, which means it is still ugly. They did put some black trim around it, which I think is for additional leak protection. Can you see anything down here? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, wifey. I see you naked. Yeah, just trying to freak her out a little. So yeah, that's the roof. Looking pretty good, right? Let's see what's going on down there. All right, we're on the north side of the house now, and you can see that we've got rebar. Reinforced bar. All right here. This is outside, just outside of the living room. And more rebar inside the living room, because this, of course, is where that awkward step was that went down and then up again, and we didn't like that. So we're filling it in with cement, and it's pretty exciting because the cement is actually arriving today. We're getting about seven yards of it, seven and a half yards of cement, which is a lot more than it sounds, and uh, more cement is gonna go here. Th this was a last minute decision to actually fill in this gap outside because uh, A, it was actually collecting a lot of water. Instead of actually having a, a nice incline that would go down and make the water wrap around the house, both sides of this little area are sort of converging right here, and so water's just sort of pooling right in front of the living room. And over years, it's caused some water damage to some of the foundation and even the wall that used to be here. So we're going to fix that up. Plus, it's also another awkward step down and up. We're just going to make it flush with the rest of the patio here. I've been learning a lot about cement lately and how it all works. Apparently, cement has really good compression strength, which means when it's being forced or squished together, it retains its shape and rigidity very well. But it has terrible tensile strength, which is the tension that comes from being pulled apart. So that's what the rebar is for. It's helped to keep the cement together and to keep it from spreading out and cracking and things like that. I'm sure everyone in the comments can explain that way better than I just did. See the blue electrical boxes? Boom, boom, boom. Those are gonna be outlets. Some of them are gonna be switches. If we come over here and I don't electrocute myself on camera, you can see the lights are working. Yay, woohoo, let there be light. So the contractor just went to Home Depot and grabbed a bunch of tester bulbs. They're like, you know, a buck each or something. And he just popped them in to make sure that all of these fixtures are in fact working before he plasters and drywalls the whole ceiling. I can totally relate to this because I do test boots all the time where I ensure all the hardware is working before I commit to installing all the hardware that way I don't have to undo a bunch of work in case something fails. So I guess this means test boot complete. I think I just heard the contractors pull up in our driveway. Uh, it's always easy to tell because our contractor has a massive truck with a muffler the size of my head. It can literally fit my head in his muffler. Not that I've tried, but I've thought about it. We also have the cement coming this morning, which is a totally different company. They're just bringing the pre mix stuff and then our contractor is going to pour it himself. We had to rent a truck and a pump and all that jazz. So uh, that should be here soon. Hopefully I can get some footage of them pouring the cement when it's here. <laughs> just left. It looks like they did a fantastic job. They were in and out really quick. It's a family owned business and they named their company after their last name, which is totally fine. But honestly, if it were me, I think it's a missed opportunity. There's a lot of fun, creative name ideas you could use for a cement company. I'm going to have wifey sauce. Let me know what she thinks of the ones that I just came up with. Ready, honey? Yep. The concrete foundation. Okay. Pave the way. Okay. Rebar none. Okay. One pump chump. All mixed up. World Graveler. Rick and Mortar. But that one only works if your name is Rick. Mm -hmm. I cement what I said. Grace and me with masonry. 
That's so. Which one was funny? That's all. You're, you you know you're you're useless. You you you're, you're no good. You're no good. You really Maybe suck. Maybe you're just not funny. You didn't think any of those were funny? Tough crowd. They were really bad dad jokes almost. Well, maybe when you're a dad, you'll understand. Hungry, I want food. I want to sleep. That was a good face plant. I think you found your calling. All right, where should we eat? Sakura. Sakura. I like I like eating there just so I can say the name. Did you know I can speak Japanese? You can't. Sakura Hideo Kojima Tomagachi. So Sakura is a teppanyaki restaurant where the chef actually cooks in front of you, and the chefs are really good at what they do. They're very out, very entertaining. Does the footage look a little choppy right now? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, the show is starting. Fire. Hey! I did that in a dream once. It's not that hard. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Oh, stacking them up. Oh, that's a lot of oil. And he's the thick lighter. Whoa! The insurance for this place must be through the roof. I forgot my ecstasy at home. What are you, what are you doing, woman? Oh All right, we're back from lunch, and the cement is already apparently dry enough to walk on. Wifey sauce and I thought it was gonna take a lot longer to dry, but here we go. First step. Oh, it's it uh, feels uh, feels solid. Feels very solid. Nice work. Feels feels good. Oh, it's very firm. When's the last time you saw something? Get this hard, you know? So yeah, obviously this part isn't smoothed out because we're putting flooring over it. If you guys remember the flooring that's in the rest of the house, that will be continued onward for the rest of the living room. And then over here, obviously we have it smoothed out because it's sort of blending in with the rest of the patio. Obviously when you pour fresh concrete, there is gonna be a bit of a mismatch there if you already have existing concrete next to it. Hopefully in the near future, we'll be covering this up with something else. I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet, but everything's looking good so far. Yay! Okay, mister, this is not gonna fly for me. Okay, you have to you have to find somewhere else to sleep, buddy. This is worse than putting the computer on the floor. This is like putting the floor on the computer. Not gonna fly. Oh, you're so cute though. All right, just 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. But then I'm coming back. You better be off. Hey, hey, what did I say? Okay, this this has to stop. You've, you've abused my kindness for too long. All right, and now you know what happens next, don't you? Oh, they're gonna be calling PETA when I'm done with you. What I'm about to do to you may even shock alinity. All right, you know the drill. 